A big thanks goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Well, wanted a good workout, Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. This is uh, quite the climb up here. Um, yeah, it's relentless all the way up. I've just come up this uh, steep slope here. There's a, a gully and right in front of me there's this massive boulder just kind of lodged in there. I don't know what's holding it in. But if, uh, if that came down, Man, it would wipe out everything in this gully, including me. Well, good evening everybody and welcome to another vlog. Uh, as promised, I, uh, I'm trying to introduce more adventures into my channel. Um, and some time ago I mentioned that being in the Alpine is probably one of my favorite activities, just haven't done it that much lately. So uh, I'm trying to change that. This is a hike that I've never done before this is uh, King's Peak in Strathcona Provincial Park. And probably wasn't a great, the greatest idea to pick this one because this is one of the harder hikes in, in the area. Uh, this is a, twice as hard as the, the hike up to 5040. It's twice the distance and twice the elevation gain. Uh, 
so to get to where I am now, uh, it's 1,800 meters, which is, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a grind. Uh, probably, in retrospect, probably would have been better to just do it as a day hike, but I decided to bring up my camping gear, and I'm going to spend a couple of nights up here. <laughs> That's pretty sketchy down there. I guess I should tie my laces up. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty high. You could almost base jump off that. <laughs> okay, you probably can't see me because the camera's pointing right into the sun, but you might be able to see the layers. Absolutely stunning. Uh, there is a bit of cloud out there and there's some cloud this way as well. So might get a bit of color. There seems to be a, a lot of haze in the air though, um, which is kind of cool. That's what's creating uh, these uh, layers and uh, you can also see beams of light coming through Wow, that is a that is a really dramatic peak, and I just love the the tall peaks around it. Just amazing. It's hard to believe that this is Vancouver Island. Just stupendous. So Strathcona is quite a large park. Uh, I think it's the oldest park in British Columbia. I think it was the first provincial park, and uh, a lot of it is wilderness. Um, lots of hiking trails. So I haven't really done an awful lot, so perhaps now is the time to do that. Although it's going to start getting late in the season. Uh, I'm not really much of a backcountry skier, and I don't think I'd want to ski up here. I think it's pretty steep, but uh, oh, this is just beautiful. So I'm going to try and get here first thing in the morning as well. Uh, the sun should rise, I'm guessing over this way a bit. So it'll be slightly backlit, but so once I've finished with this, I'm going to go back over to the layers because I think we might get some colour. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, I actually slept, well, not too bad. 
usually I have a hard time sleeping when I'm camping, but I was so knackered <laughs> yesterday that uh, I fell asleep pretty quick, but then I woke up, my arms were kind of aching a little bit from my, my mat. Um, beautiful morning this morning. I'm looking out over the cliff here and I'm taking a time lapse. Uh, you can't really see it in the, I guess you can kind of see it. The sun's just starting to come up and we have a, a bit of red in the clouds, not too much, but at least there's, there's a couple of clouds. So um, what I am hoping to do is th there's a, a little bit of cloud in the valley there. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get some light on this cliff with the cloud in the valley. Behind me, uh, as the sun comes up, we'll see what happens. There are a couple of inversions but they're not that significant, so you can't really see them. It's very blue and hazy, so uh, it's not looking terribly great right now, but that might change as the sun comes up. a photograph of Elkhorn. The light isn't quite as great as last night, but uh, it's still worthy of photograph. There's a really great ridge here with some light on it, so I'm gonna take a shot of that. The sky just isn't that interesting. Uh, I am going to pop on a case polarizer. I'm not using uh, a wide angle lens, so it shouldn't affect the sky too, too much. big thanks goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. I've been using Squarespace for a few years now and what I enjoy about using the platform is its elegant design templates and ease of use. With Squarespace you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layouts and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Whether you sell physical goods, digital content or services, Squarespace has the tools to start selling online. Make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay. And in eligible countries, offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay or Clearpay. If this sounds appealing, why not head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the code Adam Gibbs to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh my, what a, what a spectacular morning. I am so glad that I stuck around. I was kind of second guessing myself yesterday. Uh, wasn't looking so great. Um, Weather-wise that is for, for photography. And when I'd run out of water, uh, I wasn't feeling so great. Uh, I had a, one of those mountain house meals that tend to have a lot of salt in them. And of course I was so thirsty and I had no water left, so, which wasn't good. 
Um, and I, I did bring up three and a half liters up with me, so I thought that would be enough, but obviously not. But luckily, I went up to the, the summit, which is right behind me here, right there. And uh, there's some snow up there. Um, so I came back down to my tent and I was gonna get some water this morning. I thought, ah, oh, to hell with that. I need some water now. So I grabbed my water bottles and went up and I got some water. I was gonna go up there this morning, but uh, there's uh, about five people up there with three dogs camping and uh, didn't really suit my mood. So I decided to stick around uh, where I was camped. And it's just, it's more or less the same view, except I can't see over to the, uh, the north uh, east there. But uh, what, a, what a spectacular morning. Um, overnight it got quite cold and damp and uh, I kind of figured that there might be an inversion going on and sure enough, uh, there is. So um, right behind me here, you can see where the sun is coming up. I'm doing a time lapse. We've got some beautiful clouds down there and then uh, Elkhorn. There's a little bit of low clouds, but not quite as much. And then on the other side here, there's some uh, just absolutely wonderful uh, clouds in the valley there with a bit of pink. So uh, I better get my camera going. Uh, I'm a bit slow this morning, but uh, yeah, what a spectacular morning. I can take some shots here, take my time, and, uh, and then I'll slowly make my way back down to the car, which I'm really not looking forward to.
Well, what a fantastic way to finish this trip. I wasn't expecting that. I was running around quite vigorously there for a little bit, trying to get some drone footage, some time lapse, and I did manage to get a couple of photographs as well. So hopefully they'll turn out fine. As you can see now, uh, the, la the light is starting to get a little bit flat, but it's still really spectacular. I'm hoping that uh, my videos moving forward will be along kind of this line, a little bit less dialogue, more adventure, um, with the odd video thrown in where I might do some processing or something like that. But this is, this is what I really love doing, and uh, I think I'm going to stick with this type of thing. So uh, I'm going to pack up and start heading back down that horrible, horrible steep trail. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Please be sure to uh, give me the old thumbs up. As always, that really helps. And uh, I hope you can support my channel in other ways. Uh, I have a new book coming out in, it's now October, but it is coming out, Land and Light. I'm just waiting for the, uh, the copies to be sent to me. And uh, that really helps support my channel. Uh, hats, Karen is still knitting away, um, and if not, then a thumbs up is just fine. Thank you very much. All right, till next time, bye-bye.